So I looked at the piece after I finished Hello doing and welcome to my and I was crafting area. I want to just, I'm working back on basically my the um, pattern didn't crazy quilt or slow stitching wrap and dress that I want to, wrap skirt that I want to make. And what I'm doing so now is I'm uh, laying down a grid. I just took a, put it on a piece of this tearaway embroidery fabric and I'm laying it down on the inside. Sorry. To that. help make the and what I'm doing is just stitching. I know where the stitches on, are. So I'm going around the pattern, and then small, what I'm doing is I'm coming over here the to these circles, to help and I'm doing the, a little bite all the way around the circle, and I'm going to, um, to help the pattern do lazy daisy and, stitches um, through this. I like saw this on finished really. Um, Instagram, so I will and I thought it looked continue. good, so I thought Buckets of sexual confidence. We'll see how it turns out. I might, you know, the one thing with crazy quilts and crazy skirts is that if you don't like it, you just quilt over it and make it bigger. So I'm uh, just going to continue on here. So here I am. Um, it's almost like couching, so I'm using the back of the needle. And I'm going in. And then untangling the threads. And then I catch the next little blue thread. And sometimes I need the point just to get it under there. Line up the threads here. Sometimes it's just all about making sure the stitches all align themselves in the right order. Or the threads, pardon me, lie where they're supposed to lie. Enjoy solving problems and tangled threads is one of the things that I um, enjoy doing, quite frankly. And so I'm going to continue going around these. under these um, stitches to help the pattern stand out more and then I will do the flowers. I've got one red one here and one white one here just as a filling in the, the blocks. So I'll finish doing this and then I'll get back to you. So now I'm going to work on an orange um, flower in the middle of this hexagon. And as you can see, the blue little ticks on this side, those are what I'm going to be using to catch my thread. I put my orange thread on the back. I go in between my two layers of cloth, trying to come out sort of at the center. And this is because that knot is gonna be, if it was in the center, it would be too much thread to go through if you got it caught. So now I'm gonna try to find the center of this daisy. And I think 
think I got it there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up and I'm just going to work on top of my fabric, catching each one of those blue slots there. And this is just a, it looks like a lazy daisy stitch flower. And it is. In theory, I think it's supposed to make it more even, but mine is not necessarily doing that. And on this one, I will come back. So you see I've gone in and I've come back down on the same stitch and I'm going to cover that blue up with orange later on. I'm going to come up just beside that first petal and I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to go all the way around using the same technique. Under the blue stitch, down in the same spot. I'm using all 12, um, all this six strands here. So I'm going to come back up again. Catch it. And go back down. And continue doing that. After I completed doing the daisies, I took a look at the work and I was dissatisfied. The um, hexagons looked bland and faded into the background fabrics. So I decided that what I would do is use green pearl cotton, number eight pearl cotton, and I did a stitch inside each of the hexagons and then added two small leaves to make the represent vines on the inside. And I did like this, it um, worked well. The other thing that you'll see that I did in the final pictures is, is I realized that I wanted the inside of each of the daisies, the inside um, and each of the um, outside uh, catches to be white. So I went back in and finished those off in white. So you can see here the daisies going around all of it and I will finish that off and come back so to So here is the finished pattern. Uh, overall, I'm okay with it. It took a long, circuitous route to get here. Um, I think it'll be okay on the skirt. As you can see, the patches are all laid down. The inside, the hexagons, <clears throat> pardon me, pop. Uh, I think it'll look better when I finish doing the um, edges of the other squares that are around this.
But here's another example of what I'm doing on my crazy quilt skirt. Thank you very much and have a good day.